This year's coverage of Mind Disrupt 2023 is brought to you by our sponsors. Without them, this coverage wouldn't have been possible and we couldn't thank them enough. Support this channel by supporting our sponsors. And let's get into the coverage. Hey, so I'm actually going to take you guys like around this event. It's before a lot of the vendors are here. Uh, as soon as you walk into Mind Disrupt 2023, you're greeted by Pegapool, uh, which, by the way, I believe has zero fees on Bitcoin mining. Uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to be for, but I'm sure if you go to their website, it will tell you. Um, we also got Foundry, a uh, nice little meeting center, nice hashes back there. Uh, all kinds of different booths, different areas. Intelliflex is the big container uh, that we saw out there, just bit. And various speakers throughout the day, and the stage is way back there. But this is the first corridor as you walk in. And it's pretty nice. Um, you know, day one. You saw probably Hawk and a couple others live streaming. Not all of this was set up. Uh, and it's nice to see all of it kind of set up. There are some private, probably some VIP rooms to my right. Nothing really that you care about. Just bit uh, was the second presenter on stage yesterday. We got the Bitcoin Museum uh, that I believe DJ already went through and, and showed a lot of you to some of that content. Uh, but let's take a quick look at it. This is some old school hardware, guys. This is some really good old school hardware. Monarch. <laughs> dual AIO. Or cold plates, dual cold plates, pumps. Um, probably Ace Attack, to be honest. Add them back. I would still run these if I could get somebody to sell me one. Butterfly Labs, I remember those. Jalapenos. <laughs> Jalapenos. He's doing his <laughs> That's funny. Hey, thank you. Rock Miner. The Avalon 3 Nano. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, the early, early Gecko Science. And early for them is, is not early for most of us. Block eruptor, oh man. E bang E nine. Add him back. What's minor M ten early days? What's minor? I mean, still kind of the same design that they have today, you know what I'm saying? M29. M3V2. M3V1. M1. Here's some of the really good stuff. Somebody's having an interview next to me. There's some more legacy ones over there that we're gonna go look at, but I don't wanna interrupt their interview. As you can see, they're having one over there in the corner. So let's be very quiet. Avalon Miner, 1041. And then on this side, got quite a few S1s, S1 Plus, S3 Plus, S3 Plus, and, and the variations in between, right? So we're seeing that with ASICs now. This is minor variations, probably the same board count, same chip count, maybe a little bit of a clock, maybe they're better uh, silicon. Uh, lottery for them so they might clock higher uh, at a more efficient rate as sevens just the history as we climb up t9s s9s s9i which was the one that I saw well, that's a hydro too yeah that's nine hydro Yeah, 
S15, S17, S19. This is good stuff, man. I mean, I heard mixed things about these guys, but we'll see. Juniper, the KNC miner. Look at these coolers. This, this, these are like some legacy, like before Hyper, I think before Hyper 212 Evo. I think Thermaltake and Arctic were comparing each other or like comparable as far as their heat sink design. But you know, that would fit in your server closet, obviously so with this, Cointerra, which was the Gold Strike 4. This case right here with all the fans that you could mount on the side, I don't think anybody did it. Butterfly Labs, there's an OG um, that I know bought this, but by the time he got it, he basically resold it. I'm sure there was a lot of people that had that with Butterfly Labs, but anyways. Uh, old Corsair case, and we got here the Baby Jet Hash Fash. I mean, basically built into a case. You got your, your aero filter, your, those look like 140 instead of 120 mil. The T100S by Bitcrane. And the R4 amp miner. A lot of people don't even know what these are, man. This is crazy. This is good stuff right here. This is good stuff. I mean, this is sexy to me. I don't know why. It just is. Look at the blades. EBJ 1000 watt G2 power supply. That's, dude. Yep. And this is the guy I'm, th I'm thinking of right here. Daniel. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I wonder if Daniel's here. But that's the Bitcoin Museum, guys. I'm stoked to see all this legacy hardware. Really appreciate them bringing it out to Mining Disrupt 2023. All right, let's continue on looking around. Various ad placements, stuff like that. We got D. Actually, I think uh, one of my colleagues was talking about this particular unit right here. 170 tire hash, uh, plus or minus 5%, 3825. I think they could do, yeah, 4,900 watts for 200 tire hash. Uh, they got their Twitter and their YouTube. Uh, DCX, immersion cooling. A lot of immersion cooling here this year. Um, I like it. Look at this dry cooler. That's, that's a beast. And I, that's the problem that I'm gonna have to figure out in the future. We'll talk later about that in a future video. This looks like one of their containers. One of their server racks, or server uh, blades. Miner Plus, Crypto Logistics. And so you just walk up and down each corridor. We just came from that direction on the left. And now we're going to the right. Here's your nice hash area. We're gonna go right next here in just a minute. We know all about the spot and the easy mining and all that good stuff. Probably should get a nice hash hat, actually. Um, here is Hash House booth. Got all kinds of stuff here. Actually, that notebook, I'm gonna come back for one of these. I like that notebook. Uh, more immersion cooling, everything that you see here. There's the dry cooler, your container units. Looks like we got six pods, probably could fit up uh, two. And they got various specifications and everything. 96 micro BT M60 series or 128 M6 uh, M56. Here's your PDUs. We needed this day one. They're just display units though. They're not actually in operation. Red Panda, you need this right here. So that's the hash house area. And we got KuCoin pool. What's minor, which I need to go see them soon. Teleflex, I talked to these guys yesterday. And you just continue down the right side. There's more, there's more, all kinds of stuff. So engineering fluids is a big, um, you know, favorite of mine as far as immersion cooling. You know, that's what I run. Uh, in here, they got the S19J Pro Plus. Look at that immersion cooler, or that, it's like pump built in. So. They actually do a very good job. I know a lot of people who are trying to partner with them with their fluids because their fluids are unique and one of a kind. 
Uh, I talked to, I believe, um, the misses of the business. There's a DJ Miner and the What's Miner booth. Talk to some of them a little bit later. They are partnered with, there you go. So they put a couple of their What's Miners inside the immersion container. I like this acrylic. So Miner giveaway, we could probably scan that. Can I get the M50? That's not working because it's just a show? No, I'm joking. Uh, what is this? Structured source. Look at that PDU. New era and high power distribution solutions. Showing a picture of everybody on stage. Blockchain Institute Technology. Yeah, that's all a lot So this is the VIP area. Which, by the way, the VIP food wasn't as good as the regular food. Just saying. I heard a lot of VIPs say that. Just saying. I mean, the VIP area, um, some of the perks is good. Uh, but I think this year, there's a couple circumstances that kind of mess with them. Kaboom Racks is over here. Oh, and then we have, uh, I'm just going to say on mining. I know it's like X on, something like that. The various devices they sell, what's Miner M50, oil cooling system or immersion cooling. This one's pretty cool. So this is like, I saw this earlier. It's the uh, small form factor or density module for immersion cooling. We got Host Totally, Host Totally Insurance Company, um, Mission Critical, Link Coin, Formin, MN. Fog hashing, we talked to them yesterday. This is Moonshot. Switchboards, control panels, PDUs. And so that dry cooler, we're gonna have to come, we're gonna have to figure out something. I'm gonna get specs for that. That's definitely a little bit bigger than I expected. Mine Crypto Pro, we saw these guys out there earlier with the hard hats. Here's the Bitmain Ant Miner area. Um, here's one of the hydro units. And remember guys, this is just one side. Here's the Jingle Mining booth once again. Jingle Mining and Jazz Miner, there's the candy. And Arctic Systems, we talked to these guys yesterday. They actually are customizing, and I know most immersion cooling units are customizing everything to their customer's needs, but I like this system, because you can see the power ports and everything down there, as well as the ethernet, if you look very carefully right down here and this is just basically you know, lift up and you slide it in makes it a little bit easier for getting up and going here's a giant dryer cooler this is not for this container basically the footprint of that container would be equivalent to one of these fans right so this thing cut in half um, and that obviously holds six I want to say but I mean the dry coolers for some of these guys are freaking huge and matter of fact here's one of the all-in-one units I was talking about or kind of like density packages, right? So you got your reservoir, you got your radiator, um, your power, your 220 volt, and then you're running your, your tubing, right? Liquid outlet, inlet, into your distribution blocks, these two right here, uh, and then into the various uh, board or modules and stuff like that. So mining cooling solutions next to Bitmain, and then now we're into the next section, which is digital shovel. And we talked to them yesterday. We know Voscoin got this. I don't think everybody is here just yet. iPolo's right here. They put up all the hardware. I was looking at that. I really want to know how much the uh, hydro unit that they have is going to cost. Here's the flux booth. Talking to the flux team yesterday. Got to see some of this in action. Um, obviously, they had to take up and put up some of the towers and everything. Uh, Mannix for transformers and power. And what we're going to do is we're going to work our way down this left-hand corridor. EpicBlockchain.io, we were talking to them yesterday about their boards. Um, then we have this corridor where we've got different ASICs kind of colored and stuff like that. Here's BBT, he's kind of like, he hijacked this corner, did a good job, you can see. I should steal their mouse pad. I wonder if you will notice. 
But very pieces in art. I featured that on the channel already. Beautiful stuff. And in between BBT, we got Jack's Network and Sunbelt Solomon. Um, then Brains, we talked to Brains yesterday. That was good stuff, good conversation. Um, but you know, it's very hard to upload this content. Hayden, Big Spit, we talked to those guys yesterday. Crypto Mikel is gonna have some content on that. Alpha Miner, Green Tech, Loco Tech, Lead, Pegasus Shy, DMG, Blockchain Solutions, It's Miner, Clouder Power, Octa Octagon Power? Really? Okay. Um, Amp Pool. We know all about Amp Pool. But yeah, let, you know, it's early, so I wanted to walk around with you guys. Because once you start getting in here and everybody starts talking, it starts getting crazy. You know, I'm going to steal a, a... Thank you, Flux team. I'm going to steal one of your Red Bulls. Appreciate you. I love you, Flux. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for the Red Bull. Um, and then on this right-hand side, we also got Hive down here. We got Simple Mining. For Space Mining. Luxor. You know all about Luxor. Uh, we were looking, Mikel was looking at some of the filters for these units right here from Smith Filter Corporation. Chain Reaction, Sunny Side, a lot, lot of obviously uh, solutions. If you're looking to set up your farm, filter the air in your farm, provide power, good power, energy management, sea power, um, which I believe might be working with some good people in the space. Uh, Bamazon? Bamazon? How do you say that? The crypto mining connection. Sales, repair, testing, hosting, storage, hydro. And then Hivon, which I'm looking forward to more about their Hivon energy. Sorry, I was trying to like shoot people's faces and shit. Um, ASIC Jungle. Shout out to them for working with my boy Red. Acro Hash. And I'm sure Crypto Mikel is up here somewhere, but that's the main stage. Boundary Electric. And that's pretty much the entire mind of shop floor. Uh, I'm sure there's some areas I miss, but that's pretty much it. I will bring you guys individual stuff, but I just want to do a full walkthrough. And do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. So we'll, we'll take, take a couple care. questions from the audience. If, uh, if